In this tutorial, I will demonstrate the over-the-air activation method. In a demonstration, I will use my self-built LoRa development board to send messages to the Things network using the MCCI Arduino LMIC library. This is my self-built LoRa development board. Make sure an antenna is connected. Go to this web page to see how to create this self-built LoRa development board. The self-built LoRa development board uses the following jumper wire connections between the Hope RF RFM95 LoRa transceiver module and the Arduino Uno. Please note, the Hope RF RFM95 LoRa transceiver module is compatible with the SX1276. Make sure a LoRa gateway is in your area and your LoRa end device can send messages to this gateway. To find a LoRa gateway in your area, you can use this map. This map. Now let's see if there is a gateway near my location. I'm located here and this is my gateway, as you can see over here. But you can also see there are more LoRa gateways in my area. Install the latest open source Arduino IDE. In this tutorial, version 1.8.7 is used. The Arduino IDE can be found at this location. In this tutorial, I assume you already installed the Arduino IDE. Start up the Arduino IDE. Now let's install the MCCI Arduino LMIC library. Select Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries. In the search box, Enter MCCI, select the latest version, and press the install button. After it is installed, press the close button. The Arduino libraries are installed on these default locations. On a Windows environment in this location, in an OS X environment, the Arduino libraries are installed in this location. And in a Linux environment, the Arduino libraries are installed in this location. I have opened a text editor and I'm going to the Arduino libraries folder. Documents, Arduino, libraries, and I'm selecting the MCCI underscore LoRaWAN underscore LMIC underscore library folder. Open it. Open the project config folder, and here is a file called lmic underscore project underscore config dot h file. I'm replacing the content of this file with this content. These are my settings. Make changes according to your situation. I live in the Netherlands, so I have to use this setting. And I'm using the SX1276 transceiver module. If you use an Arduino Uno, you must use these settings. The Arduino Uno has 32 kilobytes of flash memory for the bootloader plus uploaded sketch. It is important to use these settings as mentioned earlier. Otherwise, the compiled sketch does not fit the Arduino Uno flash memory. There are more configuration settings which can be overridden by this file. Expand the source folder. Expand the LMIC folder and open the config.h file. In this file, you can find more configuration settings, which can be overridden by the lmic underscore project underscore config.h file. But in this demonstration, I do not override any of these other settings. Create an account on the Things Network, go to this web page, and click the link Sign Up. And just follow the steps. In this tutorial, I assume you create an account on the Things Network. After you created an account, log in. Select Console. First, add an application. These are my existing applications. Click this link, Add Application. I have entered this application ID. And I have entered this human readable description. Press this button, Add Application. 
The application is now created. Now let's register a device. Click this link, register device. I have entered this device ID. And in this field, you must enter a random value consisting of eight bytes. You can use this online tool. Press the generate button and copy the last two blocks. Click this button and paste the copy values in this field. And as you can see, there are eight bytes. After you have entered the device AUI, press the register button. Make sure the activation method is over the air activation. So this is the device AUI, the application AUI, and the app key. Here's the app key. This picture is from tutorial 21. As you can see, the end device must have the device AUI, app AUI, and the app key. The network server only needs the app key. We will copy these three values to an Arduino sketch. The network server already knows the app key. As you can see, the network server already knows this app key. In the Arduino IDE, select menu, file, examples, MCCI LoRaWAN LMIC library, and select the sketch TTN OTA. Resave this sketch and call it TTN OTA My Demo. Press the Save button. From the Things Network console, copy the dev AUI, app AUI, and the app key to this sketch. Enter app AUI in this field, the dev AUI in this field, and the app key in this field. But watch out, the app AUI and dev AUI must be in little endian format, and the app key must be in big endian format. Big endian and little endian are terms that describe the order in which a sequence of bytes are stored in computer memory. Big endian is an order in which most significant bit, abbreviated by MSB, is stored first. Little endian is an order in which the least significant bit, abbreviated by LSB, is stored first. Here is an example. Here are five bytes in big endian format. The most significant bit is located here and the least significant bit is located here. To convert these five bytes from big endian format to little endian format, you only need to change the sequence of these bytes. This byte is moved here, 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 and this byte is moved here. Now these five bytes are now in little endian format. Let's go back to the Things Network console. Click this button. You see MSB, but we must use LSB. Click this button, LSB. Do the same for the application AUI. Click this button, as you can see, MSB, and click this button to change it to LSB. Click this button. As you can see, it is MSB, which is correct. Copy these three values to the sketch. As you can see, I have copied the app AUI, dev AUI, and the app key in this sketch. Scroll down and make changes to this LMIC pins. Change slave select to 10. Reset is 5. This is data input out 0, data input out 1, and data input out 2. This value is correct, this value is correct, and this value must be LMIC underscore unused pin. These settings corresponds with these settings. As you can see, slave select has pin 10, reset has pin 5, data input out 0 has pin 2, data input 1 has pin 3, data input out 2 is not used. And if it is not used, we use the global variable LMIC underscore unused underscore pin. The HOPE RF RFM95 LoRa transceiver module 
has no RXTX pin, as you can see over here. If you scroll up, as you can see, the message Hello World will be transmitted every 60 seconds. Now connect the self-built LoRa development board to your computer using the USB cable. Now is the time to upload the sketch to the Arduino Uno. Select Tools and make sure the Arduino Uno is selected. And select Tools, Port and make sure you have selected the correct port. Now let's compile the sketch. As you can see, there are no errors. And also note the following. This sketch only uses 53% of the program storage space. The maximum is 32 kilobytes. Now let's upload the sketch to the Arduino Uno. As you can see, the sketch is uploaded to the Arduino Uno. And there are no errors. Open the serial monitor. Select Tools, Serial Monitor. And make sure the baud rate is set to 9600 baud. Go to the Things console. Select the application you created earlier. Select your registered device. This device. Reset the frame counters. Scroll up and select data. As you can see, these are the three join requests. And this is the hello world message in hexadecimal format. As you can see, every one minute a payload is sent. If you click on this icon, you will see more data. You can see all the gateways where this message is sent to this gateway and this gateway. And you can also see the estimated airtime. What I will now do is keep this sketch running for 15 minutes and I will copy all this data into a text file. You can find this text file at this location. At this moment, my gateway is up and running. My end device is only 8 meters away from my gateway. Here is an interesting question. Do I comply with the Etsy duty cycles and the Things Network Fair Access policy if I keep running the TTN OTA My Demo sketch for a day? Well, this question will be answered in the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.